Learning hybrid photography one day at a time. Become a smarter photographer every day at discovermirrorless.com. It's free and phone and tablet friendly. Hey, it's Will Crockett, and welcome to Crockettville. Hey, I have been slightly bombarded with folks who are mostly still photographers getting into video, and they want to shoot video seriously. And of course, we're we're in that phase as a company here. As you can tell, we are picky about our image quality, and we've got very precise lights and cameras. And this video that you're looking at here, even though it's presented on YouTube, which knocks down some of the image quality, it's a it's rather nice, high quality video. It's certainly up to my standards. Well, a lot of folks are making up these little rules <laughs> when you shoot video. All right, here's, here's a rule that doesn't make any sense and it doesn't matter. And in fact, I'll just prove it to you so you can move on, okay? Uh, rule for video number 642 from people who don't know any better <laughs> is if you're shooting at a frame rate of 30 frames a second, then your video shutter speed needs to be double that. It needs to be a 60th of a second. If you're also shooting at 60 frames per second, which we are right now, then your shutter speed needs to be, I love that term, needs to be 125th. Well, that's just not true. So please, when you hear those concrete rules about photography, that should be your first clue that they're wrong, right? Because there really are no concrete rules when it comes to photography. Now, it is a good idea for a starting point to use that, but that is not a concrete blocked in stone system. Here's what's up. We're shooting 60 frames a second, ISO 1600, at a shutter speed of 1 125th. Now, we want to be able to change that and show you what happens. Now, I'm gonna show you motion-wise. See how my head moves back and forth? It's pretty sharp, it's not jittery, it's not bumpy. Okay, we're gonna stop the camera and I'm gonna go up to ISO 3200 and I'm also gonna go up a shutter speed to compensate for it because I'm not gonna change my lighting. My lighting and my aperture are gonna be identical for this entire test. I'm just gonna mess with shutter speed and then of course ISO to bring the exposure back down. So here comes a stop. Hey, you notice a big difference? No, not really. This is 1 250th of a second now at ISO 3200. Aperture is the same, lighting is the same. Now watch, I'm gonna move my head. Now we're getting a lot of pictures, right? 60 pictures per second being put together and you'll see the motion of my head is very sharp, right? It doesn't have a, well, a lot of uh, motion blur to it. Let's put a little motion blur in there and I'll show you what we mean. We're gonna stop the camera and we're gonna go down past ISO 1600. We're gonna go whoop, down to 800, which is gonna drop our shutter speed from 125th down to a 60th of a second and watch the big difference. Well, there you go. There's a 60th of a second shutter speed. We're still at 60 frames per second on our camera. We're not changing that. And we've dropped our ISO down to 800. So everything else is the same. Now watch my head movement. Okay, a little motion. There you go. Now we've just violated the rule, haven't we? 60 frames a second and we're using a shutter speed of a 60th of a second. How can that be? Look, technology and video cameras, particularly modern video cameras, can handle more things than you, you could ever imagine. I mean, it blows my mind and I get to work with these guys. Let's go, let's go another step down, okay? Still 60 frames per second and I wanna push the shutter speed down to a 30th of a second and show you what happens. Hey, look at that. We're at 60 frames a second on our uh, frame rate, on our camera. Nothing's changed, lighting's still the same, white point, white balance, everything's the same, but we're shooting at a shutter speed of a 30th of a second. Wow, how can the camera do that? How can it make a 30th of a second picture 60 times per second? Well, that tells you how good video really is. Now, watch my head movement. You're gonna see a change here. Okay, notice how they're my head is a little blurry. That's actually a good thing. See, that's a creative control. So if you want your motion to be soft and comfortable, you don't wanna use a high shutter speed. You wanna use a low shutter speed like this, right? This is a creative control. This is why when these silly little axioms pop up that you have to do this and you have to do that, it's ridiculous because it, all it does is stifle your creativity. Get a camera that allows you to do what you wanna do. Now, if you're capturing fast motion, you don't wanna use a 30th of a second shutter speed you don't when you shoot pictures, do you? You're shooting pictures here. So if you're taking a picture at a 30th of a second and something's gonna be moving fast, it's gonna blur. Well, same thing with video. Let's go one more, shall we? Let's go down to a 15th of a second and I'll show you what that looks like. 
Okay, now we're getting in trouble, right? Yeah, the video's starting to look a little funky. Why? Well, that's because I'm moving and we're now shooting at a 15th of a second. So a 15th of a second shutter speed, the camera's gonna shoot 60 times per second and it's gonna overlap that data. Well, that's gonna make this a little jumpy, right? See it? It's kind of bloppy. Just remember that. That might be something that you can use one day. Say you want this effect. You can shoot that way if you want to. I don't want to shoot my vlog posts this way because creatively, I don't like it. Now, can technically, can we do it? Of course we can do it. 60 frames a second, 1 15th of a second shutter speed, and we've kind of proven our point, haven't we? We could do the same thing if we set the camera to a 30 second FPS frame rate or 24 FPS, we could show you the same thing. So here's what you need to do. Instead of listening to knuckleheads that say you gotta do it some way, get your camera out and test it. Sure, and you can always go to Discover Mirrorless and Shoot Smarter, and you know one thing, don't you? Yeah, you know you're gonna get the truth. So there's the truth, thanks so much, bye. This vlog post is Crockett approved.